uh, results and what we see as our result is basically this time it's run as our metric luminance right so one thing we can do here is if it's if we see zero then we have to do something like zero luminance one with radiance and two luminance and so on and so forth so how we can do that so if we just pull out a list item or panel here is we can type the inputs that we see here we can start with illumin illuminance we go down and irradiance luminance and radiance if i'm not mistaken so these are the things right uh luminance radiance yeah so if you multiply this data what we are going to see is when we pull out a list item later on we'll see that these are quite connected to one another. So if I grab a list item here, and then if you put this guy as my index, and if you put this in, so we have the first metric as illuminance, and we'll be reading this as illuminance as well, and the, it's going to be the same. And one other thing we can put here is the next thing that are the values, or not the values, but units. So we can put lux, right? For the first one, it's what we see is, uh, again, like lux. For the second one, we are seeing it as watt per square meter. For the other one is, I think it's like CD divided by square meters and the the other one is radiance is the same with an SR to down below. So we and SR is here. And we can put this as well. So we are going to be using this as we are connecting this to our visualization set in Ladybug. By the way, the divided by square meter is basically candela per square meter, which we also have it in, uh, which we don't have it in luminance. Luminance is the luminous flux per square meter, as it's defined. And if I come over to Ladybug now, and if I come over to, not this one, probably this one, and put this, put this special heat map, and these are my results, right? And my mesh is going to be the same mesh that I'm using here, so I can easily take this in as my mesh. And now, the other thing that I want to do is I want to per, like, uh, preview this off. And these are the values that I'm receiving for this date, this time of the year as well. So one thing to Pay attention here. I can grab this complete group here, copy this and paste it below. Okay. And what I can do here is, as my legend parameters, I can connect it as well. But let's group this, group this, group this too, and group these guys as well. And what I can do here is, my legend parameter is going to be this guy. But I'll be changing the colors, no worries on that. So this is gonna be something like this, okay? This is okay, this is pretty, pretty okay. And this time it's taking 100, but it's not 100. So why don't we start between like 200 as my minimum value and 150 for my maximum value. Okay, because I'll be running this for winter and summer as well. Okay. And this is the luminance. So Legend title, global title is illuminance, and Legend title is the units that we are running this analysis. Okay, so we know this thing here 
and also like text height is you may see you may say that text height is too much and stuff like that but that's fine for now for me at least i can group this and what i'll be doing is i'll be creating a new layer point in time underscore option tree underscore 12 underscore 12 point and this is i think yeah and then underscore 5 p.m 3 p.m this is my analysis and i can put this analysis into bake and then say yes please. so this is my analysis now so one thing i can do here is to change this i can change all of these things by the way i can change all this into some other stuff and also other things as we can do here is if you have a point in time metric here so that we can change we don't have it here so that's okay so one thing we can do here is to just change this into month six and then let's see what we are going to have the end of this analysis so the first one that we run is for winter which is okay it may be cloudy or something as such but for the summer we probably receive way more colors way more luminance values etc etc so again it's taking a bit of a time so maybe i can pause this to give you a bit more time to let's not use let's not lose your time so i'll be pausing for a second all right let's see some results so when we have the results for summer you see we are receiving a lot of a lot more sun here so why don't we bake these results but before we bake them let's duplicate this layer but this time instead of 12th month we'll put six month month six and just make this there and if i trigger this all results so maybe shoebox can be open and turn this off and we see these results and what i can do here is i can group this with a color of i don't know greenish daylight autonomy point in time illuminance we can put it in here point in time illuminance and then this to go and that would be it for this video and that will be it for this video in the next one uh they'll be done for this in the next one we'll be talking about how we can run a glare analysis in honeybee